Hi Cancer, how's everybody doing? Before we get into it, let's set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space and a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. For some of you, you're like having nightmares and stuff and you're having a hard time sleeping. This can even be during the day too. Maybe you feel like caught up. It's There are many things that you're worried about. Maybe just like struggling mentally. This may be um, like a byproduct of you feeling stressed out. Weird. I feel a little bit even disoriented with the energy. Let's do this again. Yeah, for some of you, you're having a hard time remembering things. I'm seeing this as be being like something that's happening right now, not something happening all the time. Like these just may be occurrences that are happening more frequently right now. For some of you, somebody hurt your feelings. I'm I'm seeing somebody that would have been like more more aggressive, more temperamental even. This person would be coming through in a fire energy. Remember, energies can always be reversed. You could have said something like in the heat of the moment and been like, mm, I regret that now. Or this could be the person that you're dealing with. Yeah, I'm seeing some sort of a fight or argument that you got into with somebody. Now you feel like maybe all is lost with this person. I don't think it is. I think it's just a, a bit of a wall or a challenge that you've gotten to with them. To be starting off with the King of Wands, this does seem like something that came from like maybe an emotionally explosive place. Because fire placements, and all of us have fire in our chart somewhere, fire placements can be like kind of explosive sometimes. Like when it's unrestrained, it can be kind of like a rapid response without thinking about it. And like maybe I shouldn't have actually said that. Um, it can be like anger, frustration, fear, things like that coming out. It looks like somebody may have said something that they wish they had not said, um, or even done something, maybe even some response out of anger that ended up like backlashing and hurting. I'm seeing somebody like, it's like they did something immediately reacted in some sort of way. And it's something that they're looking back on and being like... If I was grounded, I wouldn't have done that. But I'm seeing somebody that may not be in a place where they're kind of used to maybe tempering the emotions that they have yet. Seeing somebody that like may actually specifically act out of anger and be hurtful to those around them because of like not yet properly understanding how to manage their emotions. I'm seeing this be something like somewhat difficult for this person, but it's something that they have to let go of. I'm seeing somebody that also likes things to go their way. I'm getting a strong, strong fire energy with this person. Strong Mars specifically for them. So yeah, this is somebody that's like, you're going to do things this way and you're going to do it that way over there. And like, don't do it like that. Here, let me do it. It's like one of these people that you're interacting with. Maybe things have also been expected of them to kind of take the lead and like they don't know maybe how to share, or allow other people to have the spotlight a little bit. But I'm seeing something that... And this can be an aspect of you. I'm seeing something that's like slowly letting go of. It's like this need to control. And I'm also hearing tamper with things. 
this is like easing into a more mature king of wands which is somebody that but like this person may not yet know how to delegate and that's what's being learned right now because i'm seeing something that's still like a quite a stubborn energy and it's somebody that may lash out when they feel out of control but it's like because they feel out of control they actually try to like control all of the things around them there's something going on with like like even an overactive like nervous system with this person let's see but i'm seeing them like try to try to control and like think forward with what they're doing kind of like play the tape to the end so as not to feel regretful of things that they do i'm even getting something about like emotions spilling over it's like maybe this person is also working it's interesting because i'm like is this your energy or is this this other person's energy if you have prominent fire placements in your chart this can be for you or like i'm hearing an assertive mars within your chart which would mean like Mars highly aspected, Mars in the first house, like a lot of Aries in your chart, Scorpio even. But it's like somebody wants to act in a way where they don't have to regret these things that they do like out of a reaction so it's like somebody's trying to like temper their temper here and think more strategically because i'm seeing them like not really want to deal with this stuff anymore that's kind of been the natural consequence for some of you even someone is like discovering religion or spirituality and it's something that's helping them with their process i'm just like getting funny funny sayings about like finding finding jesus but i'm seeing it more so be like um i think that this person is at the point where it's like i don't want to have to regret these things anymore and i'm ready to like reform in some sort of way and so this person is like maybe getting in touch with like their spirituality or their belief system or even like some sort of like existential understanding of like the unfolding of their life and what that means as far as their purpose and how they want to interact with themselves and also other people is what I'm hearing. It's like this whole, um, this whole dissertation that this person is like creating right now based off of their experience and i'm seeing something that they're trying to work through it's like trying maybe to face challenges head on and switch over to be more like responsive rather than reactive because this could have been like the mode of operation of this person all throughout their lives it's like maybe they had a very angry father or like masculine figure within their life for some of them even like a mother it was just like somebody growing up that like the, it wasn't modeled for them how to respond appropriately when they feel like anger, frustration, fear, anxiety, all of that stuff. So it's like they in turn, like because it wasn't modeled for them, it's like they handle it inappropriately as well. But I'm seeing something that like even though this this may be traits or behaviors that are that are difficult for this person to let go of it's like they don't want to be hurt and they don't want to be hurting people anymore so i'm seeing them like really this is the notion of like finding jesus like that's what i keep hearing with this person it's like they're getting in touch with some sort of um and i mean personally me like i'm not religious i'm not like pushing any sort of agenda i'm just letting you know what's coming through and i'm seeing it be more of a metaphor it's like they're finding their like spirituality and their reason their like bigger reason outside of themselves for like living their life and the way that they do that <sighs> really intense energy it seems too like this person is taking on the mind frame that they're going through particular challenges right now and rather than them backing away and being like oh poor me or i can't get through it i'm seeing this person like kind of be ready to face these things now 
in a way where like maybe they're ready to take responsibility in a way that they hadn't been before. I'm seeing even something be very like complicated with an opportunity that they're taking up, but the more patient they are with this, it's funny because it's like we're talking about, like I know that this is a reading for cancer, but I feel like we're talking about a third party, but like for some of you, I'm sure that this applies specifically to you. Um, but anyway, I'm seeing like an opportunity be somewhat complicated for this person to take, like just because of how wound up everything is. Um, but the more patient they are, I'm seeing something even like, it's like some, some knot that was happening. It's like the more they practice temperance, I'm seeing the knot kind of like, you just have to like ease the strings. It's kind of like the sword and the stone moment where if you try to pull it out and you're too rough with it, you're never going to get it out of there and you have to do like a light touch to get it out of the stone. Something like that going on here. In a line, I'm looking at Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius. I'm hearing something about hard-headed maybe another reference to just this stubborn energy yeah i'm i'm seeing somebody get to a place where they're like it i don't have to just rely on me i also have to like put my faith in something bigger than myself and like in the universe and i'm seeing this be a process that somebody is learning right now it's like rather than feeling it's that it's them against the world, there's this this new perspective being adopted that like the you are moving with the universe and that it is like supporting you and all of that rather than like everybody being against you. For some of you too, this is anger that you're letting go of. Anger that also could have come from being put in the driver's seat or made to feel responsible from a young age where you feel like maybe your childhood was taken away from you or like cut short in some sort of way because it was like put on you to be, I'm hearing the responsible adult. So, like, letting go of that stuff, I'm seeing that that also changes. Yeah, this is definitely something deeply ingrained I'm getting. But whatever this thing is that you're letting go of, related to, like, control, micromanaging, responsibility, in a way where you're over-identifying with that, I'm seeing this being let go of. Like, also, like, emotions that need to be processed out. And I'm seeing, like, because the heart chakra is being cleared, there's, like, some part of your happiness that you weren't able to reach before that now you have access to. I'm definitely seeing a maturation energy from the King of Wands into the Emperor. So this is, like, mastering something. I'm getting specifically with the emotional response. I'm hearing emotions, love, and anger. For some of you too, you may be apologizing to people. If if this is you on your process or um, like this can be you forgiving yourself more than anything, it's self-forgiveness. But yeah, there can be some sort of like apology or like looking back at things and like figuring out how you want to move forward and not looking back at things to get fixated on it and be like, oh, look at the past. It's more like, I know that I can't change these things anymore, but going forward, like, I'd want to do this differently so I don't have to experience that again. Or, like, I truly do feel sorry for this or, like, whatever it is for you. Or, like, I know that I, I regret that and it's not something that I want to do again, so I'm going to change this thing over here. 
I'm getting definitely forgiveness be a big thing, whether this be, again, self-forgiveness and or you forgiving people around you if you're still holding on to something like that. Yeah, King of Cups. That makes so much sense. So this really is a thing. With this this person like whether this be you or the person that you're dealing with like finding some sort of like religion or higher power that they're like putting their belief in i'm seeing it also help them process through their emotional experience so it's like they're now able to get in touch it's like they're letting love back into their heart again like through this higher meaning that they've discovered whether they're connecting with like spirituality or their higher self or like some sort of philosophy or belief system whatever this is for them it's like actually allowing them to process through stuff that had not been processed through. And I'm seeing this lead to like an actual change with this person. Like this is one of those moments where like many times in the readings we can see people and like even within our lives and be like, I really doubt that that person's ever going to change. Like these look like very like deeply ingrained habits of this person and it's very unlikely that they're ever going to change it's like this is one of those situations where the person actually does change i'm seeing so it's like this person could have been walking around very like very anxious and fearful but masked it and and angry but masked it through anger and resentful and all of that stuff and it's like now this person is again letting love into their heart It's like they even got to some place where because of like the place spiritually that they've gotten to, it's now affecting their life in a really beautiful way, which it's touching them and it's also going to extend to other people now. So yeah, this is somebody that you would feel is very different after going through this process. And like, I don't know what it was specifically for them. I'm seeing some sort of like religious or community or spiritual base. This can even be a spiritual awakening that this person went through. They went through something that kicked this off. Even getting to a point where they were like, I don't want to live like this anymore. I'm seeing like something very significant was the catalyst for them. Like there was definitely a moment where like everything changed as far as like their perspective and, um, something impactful that would go on to affect like the rest of this person's life that's not to say that this isn't hard i'm seeing this person still like learning how to manage the emotional experience there may be for some of you or for this person whether this be you or somebody you're dealing with I'm seeing there may be a lot of like regret and looking backwards and this is something that like healing and, and acceptance and forgiveness and all of that it's going to help them sort all of this out but I'm seeing a lot it's like a tremendous amount of emotional baggage that this person is working through and figuring out how to work it but like the more patient they are with themselves as they work through this process, even if at times it feels uncomfortable and or counterintuitive, especially to the ego, um, this person is going to come through on the other side being successful because it is what they make it. So it's like if this person is like truly willing to heal, I'm seeing that they're going to for sure. And move beyond this. It's just like I'm seeing like libraries and libraries and catalogs of emotional stuff that this person like is going through memories, experiences, emotions, energetic residue, all of that. But it's something that I think they may be like giving this up in a way. It's like surrendering to the universe. I'm even seeing somebody just like opening up their hands and like letting something out. I'm seeing like chakra energy being cleared too. The challenge is like whether or not this person is going to be patient enough to stick this through and like any sort of support that they can get would be beneficial to them. I'm hearing Taurus, Gemini. I'm just also looking at Sag in that spread.
That's so funny. Gemini did just pop out. <sighs> wow. For some of you, you hadn't been able to connect with this person before, and now there's an opportunity to connect with them. Okay, so this makes a lot of sense now, I'm understanding. Because I, I felt like somebody else kind of stole the show in the beginning, but I'm getting that, like, this could have been somebody that, like, you have some sort of history with that before there had been something inhibiting your connection from blossoming. And now I'm seeing something that actually can happen that wasn't able to happen before cancer i am definitely getting something like that person had um they were dealing with like anger issues or something something along those lines as much as you feel for this person you're going to need to make sure to advocate for yourself and communicate your boundaries because that's not to say that, like, this person is all different now and, like, you don't need to communicate with them. It's, like, they're working through a process as we all are. I'm seeing, like, their specific thing be, like, an emotional thing that they're they're going through. But that doesn't mean that they're just going to be, like, perfect and you don't need to, like, communicate and all of that with them. It's, like, still somebody that has issues as we all do and stuff to work on as we all do, you know? So this is somebody that you're still going to need to be clear about, like, your boundaries with. Because I'm seeing you be in a place where it's, like, sometimes if you love somebody, maybe there's a lack of, like, saying things that need to be said, communicating, and all of that. Let's get further into this. Or making excuses. Yeah, I'm seeing you even bump into somebody. Eight of Pentacles. I'm seeing you working on... Your emotional experience, how you feel your emotions, and how you express them in relation to your very, very close dynamics. It's like even working on how you move within emotional intimacy when you're connecting with another person. For some of you, you do some sort of like healing with your emotions even. This can even be like doing something with love. I'm almost getting like a very gentle vibe now for you, Cancer. I'm your Taurus again. Wow. Yeah, I really do feel like you're going to connect with this person now. Because, like, why else would they pop up in a way? It feels like maybe if you had been curious about where somebody was in their process, it's like, now you know. Wow. I love delivering messages like this, because usually it's like, no, the person hasn't changed yet, and it's not going to work out, and whatever, and it's like, this is not that situation. This is one where, like, somebody actually has been doing doing the work. So, yeah, if if that was, like, what your experience had been of them, like, somebody having a hard time, like, managing their anger and and whatnot... I keep hearing needing to find Jesus. Like, maybe somebody really did, like, go down, like, an actual religious route. Again, like, that can be a metaphor for just, like, getting in touch with their, like, spirituality and recognize them, recognizing themselves as, like, a spiritual being. But yeah, I'm seeing you ready to like offer love to somebody. You see how the Queen of Cups is like handing, handing her love to the lovers. It's like she wants to join the party now. And when I say she, we're just picking pronouns. Um, it's like the feminine aspect of you, which all of us have. 
feminine and masculine regardless of what genders we do or do not identify with um so yeah i'm seeing somebody here willing to willing to share willing to give willing to work things out you look like in a high space spiritually very beautiful something that you've been working on like you may have done work there's some some like work specifically even that you've done with like other people or on yourself so that like you can be a good partner there's something about like you and partnerships and something that you've worked on a lot and invested in for some of you even for this person it's like maybe you didn't know if things would turn around for them but you had really been hoping for it like, I'm seeing you really set your intentions with this. Like, you could have put a lot of energy into, like, willing this thing to come to fruition for some of you. I don't know, like, to what extent you did this, but I'm seeing something that you really wanted. Yeah, I'm seeing, like, you you are connecting with, with someone. I'm seeing, like, love there, at least the beginning feelings, because the page is, like these blossoming emotions that are happening now and i'm seeing you feel very in touch with something i'm seeing a very emotional emotional experience that you would be having with this person my pisces venus is so excited right now love a love story yeah wow cancer This is about taking those taking those feelings, the love and the beginning blossoming feelings that are becoming exposed. Like I'm seeing something that had been just under the surface and it's like that surface layer gets rubbed off and now like something about your emotions are blossoming and um, this would be the time to tend to that because I'm seeing strength be attached to it. So this is something that it would be like a courageous move for you to like nurture and allow to blossom. I'm seeing you be like very, very strong emotionally. I'm seeing like a lot of will, a lot of fire on your end. Like I'm seeing you be a very, very powerful force, like spiritually, emotionally, energetically. And I'm seeing something that you've, like, invested in, something that you've spent a lot of time doing. It feels, like, related to your empowerment, and I'm seeing that that also helps you to connect with this person, too. I It feels very much, too, like, you and this person may be one of those situations where it's, like, opposites attract. And maybe before it could have been like a very volatile situation, but now because of like where you've grown to and where this other person especially has grown to, it's like something that can now coincide. If you choose to nurture this, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you choose to nurture this, I'm seeing that this is something for real that will take off for you. I'm seeing you coming together with someone. I'm seeing there be a recognition that there are like mutual feelings being there. This person may also uh, like not be as developed emotionally as you, meaning like they may still I'm seeing them be open and willing to like learn more and interact with you and I'm seeing a compatibility here emotionally but you may like n know more I don't know what exactly that means emotionally it's like maybe you you have like a more wise energy when it comes to the emotional experience this can also be some sort of social deficit that this person has experienced for example, like masculine presenting people within the world are not necessarily encouraged to like experience the whole spectrum of emotions and to show that and be affectionate and all of that. Um, 
so this could even be something like a social deficit, something like that. Where it's like you may be more comfortable showing affection and whatnot. I'm seeing this person does want to, but you may be kind of like a little bit of a teacher for them on the emotional front. And I'm seeing something that, like, if you set your mind to doing this, I'm seeing this person be very much along for the ride with you. On the emotional front, like, you may be the first one to, like, tell this person how you feel about them or to, like, allow them to feel safe and stuff like this. But it's something that it is absolutely worth the investment. I'm seeing two eights here. The more you in, invest in this thing, it's like the stronger it becomes and the more unstoppable it becomes. And I'm looking at the two of cups and the empress. It's like this is something that you would feel very empowered within. You would feel seen in the way that you want to feel seen. This is somebody that you have, it like the lovers and the two of cups. I'm seeing something potentially romantic. At the least, it's somebody that you get along with very well. I'm. This would be somebody that you would perceive as a soulmate, without a doubt. And it's something that the more you work on the relationship with this person, this is so beautiful, the more you work on this relationship and tend to it, I'm seeing you guys work very, very well together, um, just the better this would be. For some of you, you're going to have a child with this person. Wow. I'm looking at Gemini and Leo and Venus. I'm hearing don't forget the Venus. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for tuning in. I'm wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to catch you guys next time.